Hey guys, today we will learn about filter stage, which is a processing stage in a data stage job. Filter stage in a data stage job is used for filtering the input records based on certain conditions. We have where clause in filter stage, which is similar to a where clause in any SQL. Also, the operators used in the where clause of filter stage is similar to the operators used in most of the SQLs that you are aware of. We will learn about the operators in the next slide. Also, we will see how we can use a filter stage to filter the input records using a sample record and various where clause conditions. A filter stage can have one input link, many output links and one reject link. The where clause in the filter stage can make use of general SQL wildcard characters as shown in this table along with the operator like. We will see few examples using these wildcard characters in the next slides. Similar to any SQL language, we can combine multiple expressions using the logical operators AND and OR. The association of expression happens from left to right. When AND and OR operators are used in an expression together, AND is evaluated first, OR is evaluated later. Also, parentheses can be used to group by various expressions and control the order of precedence. The basic comparison operators that we use in the filter stage are is equal to sign, not equal to, greater than, lesser than, greater than or equal to, lesser than or equal to. I have created a job using join stage. I read the records from a flat input file. I will show you the contents of the input file in the next slide. I have drawn out five output links, output one, output two, output three, output four, output five, and one reject link. Under the stage properties, I have specified all the where clause conditions and the output links to which the matching record should be written to. I have set the output rejects option to value true so that I can reject the unmatching records to the reject link. And I have set the output row only once to false. I will tell you about this option in the later slides. So here you can see in the link ordering tab, I have assigned the link labels to the respective link names. So the link label zero has been assigned to my link one, filter out one link, as you see over here. And link label one is assigned to filter out two link, filter out two link. Likewise, I have assigned all the link labels to the respective link name. And the reject link has been assigned to the primary reject label. We will use these link labels in the sub properties of the where clause here. Output link equal to, we give that link label uh, the link where we want to write the matching records of the specified where clause condition. So here we have the input data set in which we have certain unique column ID, name, then some date fields, zip code. I have certain null fields as well in the input records. I, and we will see how we can filter null records as well. So in this slide, I have shown you records which I want to filter based on the year 2009 and 2018. So I use joining date like, I use like key operator over here and in the st string within that, uh, remember you can use single inverted commas not double inverted commas for representing any character or string values inside the where clause and so percentage is used for uh, any number of zero or any number of characters while it's a wildcard character as i had shown you in the previous slide so any record which starts with 2009 will be filtered out using this expression using OR logic 
I have combined one more expression. So any record with joining date having uh, the value starting with 2018 will be filtered out. So based on this very close condition, you can see my output here in this data set. So all the joining dates, if you see, uh, does start with 2009 or, or 2018. And the records are not uh, sorted ones. In order, if you want to sort the records, you'll have to use a sort stage. I will explain about sort stage in a different video. And here you see, I have used two columns. I like, I have used the expiry date and joining date for comparison. Both are columns from the input data set, expiry date and joining date. So here I am filtering out expiry date, which are greater than joining date. Then I have used end logic to combine two expressions. The other expression is ID, this ID field between the values 300 and 310. If you notice, I do not use the quotes here because this is a number field and we don't, and for numbers, we don't want to use quotation field. Whereas for date or uh, where care or any character fields, we will have to use the inverted commas here i have shown you the istnal clause so i have filtered out records whose zip value is null so in this input data set you can see only these two records are having null zip codes so those two records are written into the respective output data set again with uh, like operator, you can use the SQL wildcard characters. So this is an example where uh, I'm filtering out the records whose first letter does not start with M, N, O, P, Q, R, or S. So M to S. So this defines the a range of alphabets within M to S and using this inverted V you are specifying that this operation has to be negated. So this operation is similar to this one where name not like here I am not using that inverted V M to S percentage. So the percentage is meant for specifying any number of characters, zero to any number of characters. And the and uh, within uh, this uh, square brackets, whatever letter I am specifying, so the patterns whichever I am specifying over here, the, that needs to be the first letter of the string so when i say m hyphen s it means uh, the, uh, the letters between m and s including m and s so you see the respective output over here so no name is starting with the letters between m and s as you can see over here In this slide, I'm using specific characters. So in the previous slide, I have shown you how to define a range of characters between M and S. Here, I want to filter out records with names starting with A, capital A, capital J, and capital V. Remember, in filter stage, the where clause uses case sensitive information. So if you specify here small letter A, small letter J and small letter V and uh, as you see here, no name is starting with the small letter. So no record will be given out over here. You have to make sure that uh, the letters are represented uh, in the same case that you want to get.
so where clause is equal to name like a j v percentage so it means so any name starting with a or j or v has to be filtered so as you see here uh, all the names starting with j or v or a has been shown over in this data set and any record which are not matched with any of the where clauses we had defined in that filter stage will be rejected to my reject link output so all these records doesn't satisfy any of the where clauses that we had used in the job so these records are rejected so what happens when we set the option output row only once to true see here i have set the output row only once option to true when this option is set to true if a record satisfies the first to where clause that record will be sent to respective output link if the same record satisfies the second where clause or any of the following where clauses it will not be sent to the corresponding output link so for example if my first record from my input data set has already satisfied this where clause condition so that record will be written to output link 0 now let us say the same record is uh, satisfying the second condition as well but since we have enabled this option to true the same record will not be written to output link 1 or any of the links thanks for watching this video if you have any questions or comments please post them in the comments section i will be uploading more new videos on other processing stages in data stage in order to get notified of the new videos please subscribe to the channel have a great day.